Really? Yes. And what did you tell them? I told them that they had been disbanded by the guard, although many of them then joined the new uh, guards and such, because I don't know if you've heard, she lays on her broom, but service guarantees citizenship. I see. Thank you yes. for that. Yes. And plus, uh, they get rid of the, the mercenaries and such because only uh, uh, official people are allowed to use the big guns and shooting mm -hmm. around and stuff. Uh, let's see, Pete and uh, Scott, give me endurance rolls, if you please. <laughs> so this building's empty? Oh, no, it's been rented by a young couple. Uh, they, they are doing some sort of painting or something in there. Hot one. He goes. And, uh, by minus 30. Right, you hear. And he goes. <laughs> and then he goes. And he gets a look of constant con uh, concentration on his face. You want to fart. Would you like to fart? <laughs> It's up to you, Mr. Otwan, because if you do fart, it'll be an epic fart. I step about 10 meters away from the group <laughs> and then let loose. No problem. You guys, uh, uh, Pete, you, you, are you wanting to fart? <laughs> I don't know. Do I feel the need to let quite, go? Quite. But you're, okay. you, you rolled well, so. Yes, I say. Please excuse me one moment, and I step aside. No problem. Sheila, you see both of them literally fart fire, and <laughs> Pete's goes about, you know, uh, a, a, a flutter or something, but Scott is like a flamethrower, and there's some, some guy walking by, and his hair gets lit up by him. <laughs> I mean, it's an epic fucking streak. It goes like... Eight meters long, and it lifts a guy's hair on fire, and he screams and runs <laughs> off. And the woman just stands there with her mouth open. Guys, I've got an idea for the ice tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my word. I haven't seen a fart like that since my ex husband, says the old lady. <laughs> Um, is, uh, I look around to see if Glenn's stupid cape has now been burnt up. <laughs> oh, good question. Give me a uh, luck roll, Sheila. Uh, go for a <laughs> negative 60, and if, if so, it luck. is cinders, yes, because she's hated that cape forever, and so, so you get a super low luck roll to make it, but if she gets a negative 60, then it's on fire. Damn. Damn, she says. No, yeah. it appears that it, it, the cape and the farting flames and stuff were working in cahoots. It helped, like, <laughs> tunnel it. Mm -hmm. Fan yeah. the flames. Mm -hmm. You're not <sighs> sure about either of your guys' pants and stuff. I'm not checking for that. Yeah, you guys aren't sure if you've still got any or not, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They could be like chaps now. And remember, by definition, all chaps are assless. It's true. They come back looking relieved. The lady looks, the old lady looks impressed. Shows the other guy doing a handstand into a fucking horse drop. <laughs> he doesn't know what happened. He's just lit on fire. He's walking to work. What happened to you going to work today? My head got lit on fire. Somebody farted on fire. So you said there was uh, a couple painters moved in here. Are you all right? She says. <laughs> you just come back to the ground. She goes, oh. Never, never felt better. I can imagine, she says. <laughs> Did the woman look like, and I described Mildred? Do you remember what Mildred looks like? I've seen her picture. That's a spirit. <laughs> You, you give a really sketchy description. She says, no. No. No, those be. She looks like one of the... the, the she might be one of the ladies that the, they came with the group of two men to ask. 
I told mm. them what I told you. Fair enough. Um, do you know the name of the couple that are renting it now? The Johnstones. Very nice couple. The John John. Sorry, was that John or Job Stones? John Stones. John Stones. Okay. Yes, I believe they they raise puppies oh. and paint. I don't know if they paint the puppies though. I'll have to ask a painted puppy. That might be good. Ooh. Do you paint puppies? Yes. I see. Who the fuck lit me on fire? Did anybody fucking say who did that? <laughs> People are looking at him like, who in the fuck? Like, the guy's, his hair is all fucking burned and crusty and he's just looking around and half soaking wet angrily. Gonna fucking get to the bottom of this. Rants and raves for all and storms off angrily. Thank you, ma'am, for your time. Yes. We shall leave this place for another place. She goes back to sweeping. All right. It looks like the people are generally prosperous and whatnot, except for those slaves over there, some of whom are elves. Uh, in fact, most of them are elves because uh, citizen uh, uh, service guarantees citizenship. Unless you're an elf, then fuck you. You stay a slave. There's no way likes those guys. <coughs> the slave master whips the elves unnecessarily just to keep his hand in. He taunts them. Oh, so you get to start with a whole bunch of extra languages, huh? Oh, you get a bonus to using bows and long swords, eh? <laughs> Else. Okay. <laughs> Go and organize transport to Santa Claus. Oh, you're all good looking and thin. All right. No problem. What kind of transportation would you like? Like a stagecoach? Um, I'm not, I can't recall whether or not the train goes there or if it's just a stagecoach. Uh, train train uh, goes uh, north to Bakersfield or east uh, along the former Route 66. But not west. Okay. Then stagecoach it is. Oh, joy. Traveling on the stagecoach. Let's see here. A stagecoach. Let's see now. And no, you're not going to buy your own stagecoach. Okay, there it is. So... Let me see how it covers ground pretty quickly. Let me see the route out there. No, tell me the price. Uh, uh, yeah. To Ventura Village to Santa Claus, I think, from memory, according to my notes. Let's see. Genovia outside the cities. Dink. No, you're not in Genovia. God damn it. And you're in Gothic. That's what I get for naming two different things with a G. Uh, Gothic. See how many days of travel it would be. And you're going to. Oh, you're going past Ventura. Oh, okay. So let's see. Yeah. Three. Santa, Santa Claus is after Ventura, I believe. Yes. Eight. Hmm. What about 10 days? So 10 days would be about 400 kilometers. And um, right. So it would be about four days by stage as opposed to more by foot and uh, roughly four times three. So 120 silvers, please. Okay. Do you have a new coin? Yep. They're grateful to accept your new coin. 
So, one gold fifty. Just so you know, the stagecoach uh, switches horses quite fucking often, and you uh, the only time you get to stretch out is while it is uh, uh, while they're switching horses and stuff. But they don't. It's like you get you get a five minute break every. Um, so many is, isn't, there, isn't there overnight stops along the way? Yes, there are, and uh, the, your price includes the uh, like very basic lodgings where it's you know. Mm -hmm. You, you three to a bed type deal, and there's more beds in the room, um, and very basic food. If you'd like to uh, live better than that, then that costs extra. Um, before we get on the coach, I suspect we will go somewhere so Dana can get some food. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. Because they don't, they, nobody does vegan shit. These guys are wanting their fucking calories and stuff. So, yeah, you buy, you get stuck with a bag of fresh fruits and vegetables and such that you eat as they progressively get worse and worse through jostling excessively on the stagecoach. But, uh, do we have the coach to ourselves? Uh, no, there's some other guy in there who uh, seems to be uh, some sort of tourist or something. Hmm. Um, he, he seems amiable enough, but a bit of a, a kind of flaky, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's just chattering on about crap. Uh, you guys go, just to give you an idea of the route, you go along the coast road uh, through a village called Boo. Uh, through, uh, rode through some mountains, through the fields, Ventura Village, uh, and eventually to Santa Claus. They don't have any good docks here. Uh, the mountains overlook the village from the north. It looks like it's kind of a small town that serves no purpose other than to be somewhere that some people are from. Mm. That's about it. Apparently people How can many? come here and surf as well. Uh, no, the, the surfing is not great here. The surfing and Ventura, though, that's oh, sorry, where it's at. My apologies. I thought we'd gotten to Ventura. Oh, no. You guys get all the way to Santa Claus. Okay. We're at Santa Claus. Yep. How many? Well, that's, where, that's where you said you were going, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the many stages, days was that? Uh, about four days of uh, uh, clutching uh, the, the uh, handholds. And having a your ass battered incessantly. <laughs> it's just wow. horrible. Very descriptive. So you're not trying to paint in here, are you? <laughs> no, I'm trying to set myself on fire, apparently. <sighs> oh no, the gas, it's back, he says. Uh, he causes himself a D8 damage and D8 magic points. Thanks. Go I'm over go. You said four days? Yes. Okay. Let me try to help get that fire out. <laughs> no, thankfully, it just caused damage to myself. Nope. <laughs> she casts extinguish on you anyway, just in case your ass decides to go for it. Ah, another fumble. Excellent. Is that two fumbles? Do you have a 30 or less in your skill? <sighs> yeah. Nice. One of the fumbles is you, uh, both of the other two players, please give me luck rolls for something. <laughs> Yes, again. Yep. Right. After spending the night in the stables for literally vomiting all the fuck over like a fucking fire hydrant, you, uh, on your second fumble, discover a piece of gear of yours is missing. Again. Which piece of gear would you like to mark off for your second fumble, Scott? <sighs> no more binoculars, Mr. Bond. Hmm. My lighter? Good. Give, give me uh, something a bit bigger here. So Route 66 Zippo. Okay. Well, we'll get rid of a collector's item, sure. Okay. All right. So. 
Uh, right. Anybody else have any fumbles? No? No. But I do in have Santa a question. Closets. I what? do have before we get to Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Is there any magic you two can try and teach me? Ah. Yes. I'm going to, to learn. I smell. <laughs> Just got immediately vomit on you from another fumble. <laughs> 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 That's your magic. Ah. <laughs> Another yeah. fumble shits on you. <laughs> she says, um, okay. "You could have just said no, old man." Tech, shadow, fire, air, earth, pocket, wood, metal, stone, meta. Uh, yeah, any of that. <laughs> I, I know fire, and I know body. That's okay. It. So, what about Dana? <laughs> What do you need? Um, I think I don't know Earth. Really? Oh no, you did get. I do have Earth. Like, it, okay. there's a stone one. Yeah. I don't know that one. I don't know body. Okay. Ooh. Is no, there um, any? Do yeah. I detect? Do I detect a object of pattern within twenty meters of me on the first night? Not that I'm aware of. Actually, I probably do Dana in Dana's direction. Oh, mm. oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Good call. Holy shit, Dana Zul successfully did something. I did. I can detect that I'm wearing stuff. Yay! <laughs> you can detect an object right at ground zero. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hi there, buddy. <laughs> that Glenn has cards if you can yes. ever if you can ever get your skills up you you've got a little powerhouse ready to rock there but you need to get up to uh being able to make shit which is where the fun really starts yeah and by fun i mean oh my god there's a lot of fucking skills jesus couldn't you have narrowed them down logan no i'm a bastard ha 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 it's two successes i will Attempt the stone. No. Wow, wow. Other success? Attempt the stone? Try Dana. Well, I thought you got two successes on Teach Josh shit. Yeah, yeah and I tried to take the stone. Yeah. No good. That's oh, actually, there is some and a crit and a that. success. Let Critical me... teaching do anything? Yeah. Boo. You teach harder. Let me <laughs> do that. Harder teaching, he says. Still doesn't seem to help him at all, but he, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah, he's rather abysmal at stone. He's like, you have to rock. One. You have to rock hard. <laughs> Let's see. You today. Did you fumble on something, Pete? Uh, yes. But I may spend a hero point on it. What Let did you, you fumble my trying? Six, uh, shape shifting. Let me, <laughs> no, let me deal with my success at shape shifting to see if I actually manage, see if I manage to teach Glenn. Well, actually, it's only one thing that says the GM gets to do what he wants and screw you completely over. And there you go. You've now, I've now taught you how to shapeshift, Glenn. Oh. oh. Nice. So are you are you going for the fumble card on your shape? Yes, I'll go with a fumble card. <coughs> what was your attempted shapeshift? But as I said, I'm still I'm just okay. using that as a practice item. I'm, one, okay. Once I feel I'm comfortable enough with it, then I'll start doing other stuff. Damn, you only take a D4 hit points and D4 magic points of damage. I'm very oh. disappointed in my fumble back. And actually, because I... Now you're wounded, he says. Ha ha! I will make this work. Yes. So, I just, well... I no, I only succeeded once on it, so I might as well do it the once. 
Cool. So, as I was saying, you guys are finally in Santa Claus. Much skill whoring has been done on the ride there. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, yeah, I would too. Um, but you are there. It looks like a sleepy little town. Uh, I believe at least two or maybe all of you know exactly where this Spencer individual lives. Yep. You go over there, and he goes, when he answers door, he says, I sense that you are here without gifts for me or lots of money. Boy, how much do you charge? I don't charge a thing. Thing I just accept gifts of large sums of money. He says. And how how what sort of gifts of money do you accept? The large ones. He smiles and nods at you. You can tell he's not living in big style here. So this shiny gold piece. My friend. <laughs> yes, see you again. <laughs> he waits for the others' gifts. I sense you're getting, going to give me gifts. Uh, I pull out five silver. Good to see you. Come on in. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait what Glenn is doing. I give out five silver as well. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys can sit on the floor. You can have the other chair, he says. Thank you. I start doing crunches anyway. All right. He watches for a while. Like, <laughs> so um, uh, let's knock out the small stuff first. Uh, what do you want? He says to Glenn. Um, oh, you you should you should talk to him first. Oh no, I'm going to deal with the shitty prophecies first. Give five silver. Get a shitty prophecy. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you want? <laughs> How about you? He says, French uh, lady. <laughs> what what you want now? Are you guys just here to spectate? Spectating for five silver, I can totally live with. <laughs> going once, going twice. I'd like to know about the ice tower. Ice tower. Just in general, you want me to tell you about some ice tower somewhere? Yeah. I don't know right. how this works. Clearly, he says, rubbing the gold piece in his pocket. <laughs> sure, he says. Uh, let's see. It's uh, it's it's uh, I'm getting that it's it's a very cold place and. Uh, Beware of blue. Yeah, that's what I got for you. How about you, Miss? What would you like to know about? I would like to know what the, and then I look over to Joshua Lugos power. Logris. Logris. Logris? Logris? How, how does one get powerful in that? Uh, he looks totally confused. I've never heard of it. Let me see what the spirit world's telling me. It's saying, uh, it's, uh, uh, ah, he says, the same way you get to Carnegie Hall. Does that mean anything to you? I think it might mean something to Glenn. I don't know. <laughs> Acting? No. Dancing? I have no Thank idea, you. but if you can find out the answer to that, then, you know, that should tell you everything you need to know. Now, <laughs> Mr. Goldpie, I mean, sir, please, he dusts off your chair. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, would you like anything to drink, uh, eat? Uh, no, no, anything? fine. Yeah. Thank you. We've got Great. accommodation Great. here. He sits down. It's kind of a grubbyish house. It looks like a bachelor mm -hmm. definitely lives here. Mm -hmm. A woman would have had the sense to have burned it down. Mm. <laughs> anyway, he says, what would you like to know, sir? I can't uh, guarantee any results, but I'm happy to give yeah. this my best try. So is there any way for me to regain my skills and abilities that I lost or were found to be decreased um 
I'm seeing only only darkness here. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to you or something. I I tried to do basically my my form was destroyed in essence it looks you in up a and magical, down. magical artifact. Ah. And I was my essence was then fading away and put into a new body. He concentrates some more because he's going for a I'm just not getting anything here. I right. I feel horrible about that. Um, is there anything else that you might want to know? How does one prepare for walking the logris? He glares at her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you practice, though? Uh, give me something else. She's gotten her answer on that. Uh, Carnegie Hall, whatever that is. Um... How do you get to Carnegie Hall? I don't know what that means. <laughs> practice. But what do you oh. practice? Oh, oh, I guess you do know. He says, great. You... The spirits are never wrong. <laughs> is Merlin my grandfather? And is Merlin their grandfather? You guys are related? He looks really dubious, like, get the fuck out of here. He goes, um... I think so, but for some reason, I keep getting the number eight. Number eight mean anything to you? The number eight. The number eight. The is it the number eight, eight, or is it the infinity, or is it infinity? No, no, definitely the number eight. I, no, mm -hmm. definitely number eight. The number eight can help you in some way. I don't know what that means, he says. Okay. Very strong vision, though. You appear to have a good karma about you and a kind spirit. Unlike them. I mean, you know. Okay. I hope that helps, he says. Well, it clarifies something that we suspected, but when it looks relieved, it does. Yeah, that Merlin's our grandfather and we're cousins. Oh. You don't know your cousins? Apparently, I have we a lot of cousins. We weren't sure that we weren't sure if we were cousins or not. When when uh, uh, Glenn said, "Apparently, I have a lot of cousins." Give me empathy rolls. <laughs> Skills, empathy. Yes. He thinks that he he. It's very clear on his face. Oh, one of those kind of families. <laughs> 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 Right, he says. He runs his hands through his uh, uh, sandy, brownish, blondish hair. Right. Great. I'm happy you have such a big, loving family. Thanks. <laughs> sure. Well, if there's nothing else, I need to go somewhere. Do stuff. Mm -hmm. Certain deeds. Well, good luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you guys right. staying at the uh, the uh, uh, inn here? We will be. I'll walk you there. We will be. Okay. Well, we then until we get, unless you guys want to go elsewhere now. Oh, I mean, if there's other stuff here, that's fine. I thought we were just passing through. This was our destination. So we can work out where to go. Yeah. So we can go back to the... Passing embassy. through. Yes, so we can go back to the Australian embassy or somewhere right. else. Yeah. He closes up his place and goes with you guys to the inn, which is also a tavern, which mm -hmm. explains his interest. 
And uh, yes. yeah. I just I just mean that we can then wander around the back, you pull out your trump, we step mm. through the Australian embassy. Okay. Better than taking another ass pounding stagecoach back. The roads are yeah, not right. right here. How but far here. is the uh, I'd like to ask around before we leave. Um mm -hmm. about yeah. what's further yeah. down the coast road. Yeah, yeah, that's a good oh, question. Yeah. Well, uh, continuing on the coast road, you're told that there's a big forest, and it uh, redwood forest. No. Okay. Uh, it's uh, hunted by uh, some guy named Jack Patton and the Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, they're bandits. Best to avoid them. But if you're on a stagecoach, those go fast uh, enough and whatnot. Um, Past that is uh, San Luis. It's, hang uh, on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. We killed them. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they claimed a bounty on it. Oh, well, it used to be. <laughs> they, they, um, they were attacking um, what right. they were chasing. What's her name? And we basically, oh, yeah, they right. were You're right. ch chasing yeah. Lacey. I think card, Pete. I see. That sounds familiar. Hang on a minute. Yeah, that's right. We're, yeah. The next Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh, well, I've got yeah. Al Alroy written down, actually. So maybe it was a different band. Eight Horsemen Chasing Lacey. Oh, I think yeah. it was Alroy yeah. and the Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, apparently you got a new bit. No, they're <laughs> dead. Uh, okay, so after that is uh, San Luis. Uh, there's uh, mountains uh, between the village and the ocean. And then past that is uh, San Simon. Um it's a uh, pretty rough and tumble place on the uh, borderland and whatnot. Uh, from there, you can get to a uh, Big Sur Bridge and stuff. Uh, if you go for a couple more days, you'll eventually get to a port town, big port town called Monty. Um, yeah, after that, it continues going until you eventually, but I don't suggest going past... Uh, uh monty because there's only one small town and then eventually you end up reaching san francisco mm. nobody wants san francisco what's nope. what's wrong with san francisco it's a city of monsters and it's ruled by some dick by the name of um morton oh you're familiar with him yeah yes yes i've killed him twice already the bastard keeps coming back let me pour you a drink. Pour you a drink. That's what's on the house, buddy. Thank you. I guess San Francisco is not a treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, are you familiar with um, Hounds of Tinderless, Glenn? No. In your so you never dealt with him in your private eye days. That you can Mark under leans forward, listening intently. Hounds of Tinderless. Tinderless. Yes, they they come through corners. They're, they're creatures that come through the corners of space and time, and there's blue crystal left behind. My cousin said the exact same thing. Says another guy at the bar. <laughs> Bartender looks at him. Shut up, Earl. Yeah, T i no. n d a l o s. Uh -oh. So yes, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but anyway, um, but yes, they, um, Dr. Morton found some, somebody would, had been killed by him back in the 1920s and Dr. Morton had found residue was sent to where he worked as a chemist and he was into the cult and he believed it was the, um, I can't make the term of it. The, 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 elixir, the elixir of life, basically. So oh. um, so he created it and consumed it, and basically he started becoming a, sort of like a hybrid human hound of Tinderless. And he was um, breaking into banks and stealing, and jewelers and stealing gems and stuff to create, create a um, gate that would allow the queen hound, I think it was the queen hound for my cousin tried the exact same thing. Shut up, Earl. 
<laughs> but wow. we managed to track him down and deal with him. But um, then he came back and we had to deal with him the second time. And now he's here and he's apparently allied with the blue AI. Oh, there's still AIs around? Yep. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yes. Oh, yeah, says the bartender. Oh, yeah, says um, <laughs> somebody else and tries to crash into the wall. <laughs> I was going to say, so it bounced through the wall. <laughs> Thanks, Kool Aid um, Man. Yes. So, yeah. Um, but, yes. Um, what was I going to say about. Yes, yeah, so I was quite surprised when I heard that he was here and he was running San Angeles. And then he's, and then he, then I've, I, there was a note left behind for me from him. And then he sent a couple of ogre magi to come and grab me and take me to St. Angeles. <laughs> and then some night, uh, yeah, was it, was it night gone to Bayaki? I can't remember now. Anyway, some, um, no, it wasn't Shantax, so I think it was might have been Night Gaunts turned up at the White Dove and ripped the roof off and attacked us. My cousin us did that exact same thing. <laughs> Earl, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> <laughs> well, your cousin owes me for the fine I had to pay for one of them that stripped my clothes and dropped me naked in the street. The bartender Seriously. pulls out a bottle of something <laughs> and pours a couple shots from a cave like, you need this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes, know what kind yes, of no. shit you're going through, but you're, you're it's been a bad couple of months. Couple of months, he says. <laughs> he almost drops the bottle. No, no, yeah, couple of years. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so um, so you will so that that's something else that potentially a doppelganger or something that looks like me may turn up because of, also was a doppelganger. Do you even know what it means? There were three of them. <laughs> when quite. I got drunk, there were six. Yes. Anyway, so yeah, because they they flew off with blood and skin samples and stuff like that, and nasty business. Yes. Yeah, grubby hand coming in slowly to take McKay's drink. Bartender. <laughs> Uh -huh. I, I was going to pull out my cookery and just <laughs> pop out the hand. No, 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 no. Just gently tap the hand with it. <laughs> oh, that's intimidating as fuck. <laughs> this removes heads. How's that yeah. hand doing, buddy? How's your hand? Is it not to do damage, just to do a warning? <laughs> but yes, anyway. Um, Bartender's switching to the hard stuff. Uh, he puts a couple beers in front of you guys and just ignores you. <laughs> you doubt they're vegan beers. The shadow of animals probably been over. Actually, no, they probably made them in animal skins. Everybody uses animals for everything here. You know, they're disgusting people. A lot of beer has fish bladders in it. Yeah. What are they using? Bartender for? goes, What? Well, suppose it's not in it they make it it's they use it to clarify the beer so it comes okay. out bartender looks baffled at this he looks at the beer it's, it's really murky and shit in there it's like uh maybe we should mm. <laughs> thanks for the tip mister and thus began the new fish killing frenzy Glenn, the fish were <laughs> fine. You guys uh, have some drinks. The bartender's like, you got any more stories, mister? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have stories? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Yes. Yes, I have lots and lots of stories. You notice that he has exactly eight kegs of uh, alcohol, different sizes behind them. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. McKay glares at the kegs. <laughs> Bartender has no idea. He keeps looking back like there's something <laughs> behind him. Ugh. Earl's like... 
<laughs> I shall regale of other stories. Excellent. Give me a storytelling role. Let's mm -hmm. see if you can keep the bar entertained. If you make it, give me an alcohol drug drug tolerance roll mm. as the bar retaliates. If you don't, then you know. Oh. Yeah, well. His stories tend to meander around and uh, yes. lead into something new, and it's very confusing. The, it shows it shows the bartender with this big scorecard trying to figure out shit. He's like, I don't understand. So it, and he begins making a conspiracy board on the wall. So if this meant this and over here is this, I don't understand how this has anything to do with it. You got a bingo. Oh. My cousin had a bingo once. It was his name O. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Have an air beer. Bingo was his name O. And then he starts a sing along. Give me a singing roll, McKay. Uh, let me, don't, pretty sure I have no points in that. No. Spencer's in the bar. He's happy to fucking sing along. Right, McKay begins singing loudly and a little off key, but the bar joins in. Uh, right, everybody give me drug slash alcohol tolerance roll as the evening just kind of keeps going. No problem. Um, I, that was for singing. <laughs> oh. Right, uh, Glenn, mark off uh, 12 silver pieces. You don't know where they went. <laughs> You think you may have bought drinks at some point. Damn. A lot of them. Uh, Dana, how's your alcohol tolerance? Oh, you don't drink alcohol because yeah. of animals. Especially yeah. now, now with the fish problem. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. that's probably why uh, uh, you got so Whis drunk. Whiskey and vodka or whatever else should be all right to drink. Oh, there you go, says the bartender. Uh, I work hard at this body. This Several other bad. people in the bar volunteer to work hard on it as well. This guy obviously hasn't clarified his beer, so you don't need to worry about the fish bladders. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, McKay, uh, right. So, Dana, you're the only one who's still functioning fully. The other two are falling down drunk at this point. What? Bartender, uh, can we have a room, please? Yes, yeah, the bartender. I mean, yes, ma'am. Uh, right. For the three of you, do you want to share the room with other people or no? Just for the three of us, please. Uh, bathroom? We have one with a bathroom. Would you like that one? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need a bathroom. Five silver, please. I hand it over. Great. Um, I, yeah. I get these two guys up in there. It's pretty small. We don't have any fancy rooms here. We don't like fancy rooms, says some other guy. He took our jobs, says a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. <laughs> giggling as you, Dana, give me a strength roll as you try to get the boys upstairs. It's harder <sighs> than it looks. All right. <laughs> don't fight it, guys. <laughs> there we go. Good. Well done. She basically hauls both of you guys bodily up the stairs at the same time. She is pretty buff right now. She's like, come on, come on, we're going upstairs. And you guys are like, I, I want to sing. And so she hauls you guys upstairs. But there's no one dance bed, number. One bed, <laughs> and there'll be a tight fit with their bite. There's a chair. There's a bathroom. Uh, I suspect I'll be sleeping wherever Dana dumps me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I put them on the floor over to their sides. <laughs> you take the bed. Ah, my bed now. All right. Yep. You guys get a good night's sleep. I mean, the room's clean. It's nothing fancy, and it's pretty damn small. And having two drunk guys... Uh, you end up opening the window partway through the night just to try to get some of the demons that have come in here out. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the morning, then they, they fight over the bathroom for a while, and eventually everybody gets kind of spiffied up. Anybody want a do you feel lucky card? Double Ooh. card range. Ooh. Uh, no, thank you. Mm. No. Hmm. Anybody want a reroll? Ooh. 
That's more tempting. Uh, that's a lot more tempting. <laughs> but I see I need to decrease as well. Drop. Um, I have a yeah. <laughs> I have something I can drop. I'll take your reroll. Go for it. Okay. Unless if you think motorcycles are going to come up. Mm. Um, now we'll. <laughs> I don't know. We could we could shadow not shadow walk. We could trump straight over to Sherma, and then you can get so Glenn can get himself some. Nope, new... it's gone. Wait. Oh. <laughs> There would love nothing better than to join a motorcycle gang if you give them half a chance. Need a new binoculars and a lighter. Mm-hmm. Need, get some... we'll get run around naked. Mm-hmm. Need to get some change of clothes and some money. Mm. Yeah, you you two are feeling pretty gritty. She's feeling a bit gritty too, just because, you know, they don't have showers and stuff, you know. That's... Yeah, I'm gonna well, I don't have it. I don't have no smell other yet. Uh, That'd be a big help right now. <laughs> well, I'll try. Just... All right. Is there anything else that people want to do in this? I'm trying to breathe to see if that helps me out. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys are pretty popular with the uh, with the locals and stuff. They, you know, uh, you think that? Oh, um, McKay got really drunk too. Uh, Roll d20 exploding, McKay, for uh, uh, money spent last night while you were thinking it was a good idea. And this is in silver. 14, 14 silver. Yeah, 14 silver. You you bought drinks and yeah. stuff. People were pretty yeah. happy to see you too. Yeah. They, they didn't like that you brought your mom, but, you know. <laughs> <better than that>. <laughs> <laughs> All One sober lady can break up the whole thing. So anyway, so that just tries to blur your vision to make your hangovers worse. Yeah, I think I I succeeded, but I did not. Ah. Uh, right, so if we I don't have... want to do anything else here, we might as well just go straight back to straight back to the embassy. Oh, you're uh, scared to have the grandkids see you like this. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you should stay a few more days and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can trump to. There's a pound, pounding on the door or at your head. You're not sure which, but Dana looked over at the door. Who is it? He's knocking. It's me. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> me who? You hear somebody moving away? Somebody, somebody doesn't Open know how to stay with their name. Come in. What? Right. I'll open the door. You see the bartender with a big base in the water going away. To oh, a thank you. Room. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, if we could. Sorry. He brings it back over. Idea. There you go. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. Yep. He wanders off to get in there. One start kicking a different door. Apply water to your face. <laughs> it helps a bit. <laughs> yeah, try to get as cleaned up as we can here. <laughs> it shows. It shows Dana like, and the archer like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you've done your best. You're you're in barely presentable condition now. Oh, God help you if you run into the governor and shit in this condition. You definitely need to get some fancy duds, dark shades, and sit around in the semi-darkness, McKay. Possibly mm-hmm. smoking a cigar or something. Mm-hmm. Or your pipe. Oh, you miss your pipe. I have one on me. You miss it less. So, what do you guys do now? I went to a tobacconist in Sherm and restocked. I guess you know, in the bottom of the water basin is an infinity symbol. Or it's an eight. You're not sure. It depends on how you twist the... Anyway. Apparently, they're all numbered, so you can keep track of who didn't return. Of course. There. You're in room We're number gonna eight. We're going to see eight everywhere now. 
well, you, you it could it could be one of those things that since you heard eight, now you're just yes. seeing it more. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're noticing it everywhere. Yes. Yeah, exactly you are, are just looking at you like, yeah, we're in room, right. what of it? So, yeah, anyway, so what are we doing? Back to the embassy, somewhere else? I play a card and cast a spell at Dana. That says long over guy to you. And a crit. Mm. I get sand in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very nice. That's a very nice. <laughs> wow. You get to make a con roll at minus 30. Hey, oh. chance to build oh, up con. Right. Yay. Thanks. Yay. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't even tell me. You don't even tell me. And I learned the first Surprise. shoot earth at people spell. Okay, the d6 once ever. Yep. Cool. You knew that shooting dirt in her eyes was the right thing to do. Wow. Pays off. It doesn't look like she made it negative 30, so she just sits there and goes, ah, I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get that cape. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't do anything about it last night. Oh, you had a I perfect know. opportunity. That's what I was being really kind, and now I want to take it all back. Yeah, Should everybody, have... everybody commented on the cape and stuff like that. They figured you were gassy. Oh, what? <laughs> that you were gassy since you got oh. the cape and the uh, burn <laughs> shape in the middle of your ass and your pants that you've been wandering around with for days because you don't change clothes. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are pretty much an adventurer level of scumminess. If you had more blood and viscera on you, then you'd be there. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to the embassy like and get cleaned up for real. Mm -hmm. All right. We're trumping through. Yep. Yep. Just as you guys are stepping through, everybody give me a listen roll. <laughs> Yes. If you make your lesson roll, you can uh, try a memory roll. I'm not sure who it has and hasn't. You're you let uh, he lets out a fucking low soft <laughs> that seems to go on and on. Yes, I I make both. <laughs> All right. Uh, you heard it sounded a lot like Brian and Tom talking. If you remember who they are, the Doras. Uh huh. Back at where you just left from. Oh, okay. Possibly yeah, in sweet. another room. It sounded like the two doors that turned up at the embassy. Hmm. Boy, they are getting around. Hmm. Did you want to go grab their blood? <laughs> Must be a, a card. gothic to beast gun. No, although apparently seem running around causing havoc in MMO land. Uh, for oh. base skin. Hmm. Yeah, you're not sure how they got all the way out there. Oh. No. Very odd. Yeah, well. Can I go talk to him? No, to, uh, I believe it was as we stepped through to the embassy we heard it. Uh huh. So, well, maybe yeah. they're, they're still there two minutes later. You don't have a card. Oh, that yeah. Goes back yeah. There. <laughs> That'd be rather slick if you just pop back. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah. Yeah. Sorry. Be, uh, no, no use in your room. We're just stepping through. Might be a gate around Santa Claus. Maybe. Dun, dun, we, didn't, we did not explore the area around it, did we? Dun, 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 that dun, dun. would be interesting if there was. Well, I'm changing my clothes. Since yes. we're at the embassy now. Oh, yeah. I'm having a nice, good hot soak. Yep. Get a bath Ooh. and change into my PI wear. 
<laughs> while he's oh. in the bath. I, Not while I'm in the bath. I take his cape. No! <laughs> I jump out of the bath and chase her. All right. Some <laughs> naked dude's chasing you around. Both of you guys give me sprint rolls, please. <laughs> if you'd like to run outside with it, he can run after you shouting Eureka or something, I guess. Get back here with my cape. Never. <laughs> I'm going outside. It uh, looks like I won. All right. Uh, 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 wow. You, you guys both are, run the same. Okay. You both run the yeah. covered. Unless you crit it, you, you cover the same distance, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. wow. Yep. You, you, you run by and you chose one beast kid looking there. So that's what Australians look like without their fur. And everyone goes, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, you lead him on a merry chase. Do you want to just run all over town with the cape, yelling it's mine now or something? You know? I'm, I'm a, the beast that taught me fire magic with his forge. Uh -huh. That's where I'm going. Oh my God, she runs over to the smelting area, Glenn. Um, you would have pr you would have known by now that Vex is actually living at the embassy now. Mm -hmm. I'm headed towards no! the big old furnace. <laughs> You're headed toward the what? His furnace. He, there's a lot of furnaces in the smelting area and stuff. Yes. Tons. No! He says, chasing you madly. He's hot on your heels. What are you going to do there? I'm throwing it in there. Give me a throw roll. <laughs> this is where it wraps around my face or something. <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. I'm muttering all of my grievances. Mm -hmm. Slap me so many times. What? Let's do the cape. <laughs> Flapping all over me. Silence. Now, now you smell like farts all the time. <laughs> he didn't even wash you after that. It's just flapping air. If you walk into it, it's your own fault. <laughs> How's that if I'm wringing my hands and I'm you trying walk to into find it. it. Where's the throw at, eh, mate? Uh, it's in it's, it's in the, the missile weapon section in yeah. combat. It's under combat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you eating, Pete? Uh, Are they the There we balls? go. Ah, uh, she throws it. Glenn, give me a grapple roll to snag it up. Uh, it's on the ground. And she threw it really poorly. Or you just dive on my top of it with a jump roll. Oh, no, he snags it and runs by. He's now running around naked with the cape. I sit defeated. <laughs> Guy comes up to you and goes, looking for work? <laughs> very, very soon. I probably will. Yeah, if you can run a smelter, uh, we'll give you a tryout. I mean, it's a lot of shoveling of uh, coal and stuff into them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a try. I'm making a backup plan, okay. stupid cape. It, it shows a slow motion of Glenn wearing his cape and just his cape running yeah. joyfully through the streets of the city <laughs> back toward the embassy. <laughs> it shows the beast kid people all looking. One of them goes, are you sure happy with that cape on? I don't think I've ever been that happy before. <laughs> what was mm. that weird thing between his legs? I don't like the looks of it. <laughs> I think he's half snake or something. I don't know. Anyway, you guys eventually get cleaned up and whatnot. Do they not have genitalia? They do, but uh, animal stuff uh, is usually covered in a lot more fur. So, you know, they're able to make uh, off-color jokes about yours because it makes them happy. Fine. Plus, they wear pants and stuff like that. Because mm. it's a Disney thing. And plus, they had to have the, uh, the, the uh, uh, fuzzing on your genitalia the whole time you were running. <laughs> You know, because it's it's a show made for kids, apparently. So, you're pretty sure that uh, that won't come back at all to haunt you in the future. So, right. 
It shows, it shows the ambassador sitting in the top. Uh, people bring you in things to read and sign and initial and stuff like that <laughs> while you're in the tub. You, know, you think back to the great Winston Churchill doing most of his business from the tub. 